It's come to my attention that I find ugly jewelry and um, kind of hurt my feelings. So I need to start asking what's pretty jewelry? What are people looking for? Because the stuff that I get, I sell pretty good. But if I'm okay with it and there's better things out there that I'm not aware of, then I need to get on the ball and learn that. Eight in the morning here at Broad Acres Flea Market. Gonna meet up with Shea Gun. He also met up with us at the our first ever reseller cartel event. And that was a pretty good outcome. We had 30 plus people show up and we weren't even there all day. So the next one is gonna be much bigger, better planned out of things we wanna do in between and showcase it along with maybe other people and gonna invite the other resellers in the community or who's gonna visit and come down. So it won't just be us. It's uh, another thing that we're progressing in and wanna do better. To maintain. Would be nice right about now to have your own little... Uh... No, we, we have a pole we need to set up, like an on-ground pole, okay. but... I'm gonna go live. Uh, yeah, man, you do, you do you, dude. You do you. What color are those wheels right here? That little lining around the tires. They look like yellow, neonish. They say to look for the red lines, and that's oh, what they call oh, red lines. Yeah. But it's like, okay, what, what color is it for me, though? Mm. Uh, 2008. We got Shagan up in uh, Broad Acres. Last day here, or yeah, time to few, thrift? A few more days. Yeah, last time sh uh, sourcing out here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I go back on the fifth. So it's coming to an end. I stay here you're a lot longer. You gonna miss Vegas? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss. It. I thought I was gonna be here for two weeks. Stay here for two months. But good times, good times. Uh, You've been putting in a lot of work too, though. Yeah, I've been trying, man. Yeah. And it's it's nice. And you're doing it family. right too because you're meeting people here. Yeah. That I feel you're gonna meet up with it again, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely, I'll be back in October. Uh, this is pretty cool. I thought this was Robert Weiland, but it's um, Guy Harvey. Which these t shirts I find for like three, four bucks. I flip them for around sometimes 20, 30 bucks. They're usually bread and butters, but this is pretty cool. I've never seen a bag. And that's one thing I need to look more into is when I find something like what else do they produce out there for them? I'm getting more into the older stuff and not newer stuff. I'm kind of getting out of it. I think this might have been an award, military award. The ribbon's missing. Vinton Anheuser Busch. Somebody marked that. this event I'm definitely leaning towards using it a ton of different benefits and before I was always thinking people who used it was um, eBay posh posh eBay I never really did the research on it but um, yeah, I'm gonna sign up Carla says she wants you to be in her listing party at some points and um, me? Yeah. Mess up, just tell her message me. Okay. Sunny said, send him a message. Thank you. Is it uh Dave or Lori? Charge. You work is it? Yeah. How much for this? Uh, three dollars. Three dollars. I had to jump in on this section because I want to share with you some information about this hat I just picked up. And it goes a little bit like cha-ching, but here's why and how to look up information on hats like this. I actually just got finished listing this earlier today. Right here, first one I got, look at all these hats just to, just to step in a little bit. 
all these hats and I'm not even close to what I have. This, is, this isn't even like a quarter of what I have. I have hundreds of hats. But anyways, this hat right here, I've, I've sold quite a bit of hats. They look plain Jane. A lot of people overlook them. And that's great for us to learn about what to look for. With this hat, there's sometimes with modern hats, this is a 2018 hat. And I only know that because the inside has a tag on here. Tags amongst tags. And there's a little code. And if you use your camera, your photo, not video, use your photo on, say, I'm using an iPhone. And I'm pretty sure it goes for other phones. But if it's different, let me know in the comments. That's going to help out other people who may be looking for that answer who do not have iPhones and maybe have Androids. So when I looked into it, it brought up the information. I have a few hats like that where they have codes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But usually Polo Ralph Lauren hats that have that little, I believe, orange tag usually pops right up and gives you information. That is an authentication type of process if you want to check yourself for people who may question. So I add that also in the description of teaching them if they look in the description because most of you know, most buyers don't look in the description. They look at a photo, they look at a title, they go for it, and then they're like, wait, I didn't know this was this way or this was that way, and this isn't really what I wanted, but... If you want to fight it and keep the sale, you could say it's in the description. You need to check. Make sure I'm to check. I usually just accept returns. Now back to the video. These changes and how much they're going up in prices. So, this is great. So if you're wondering who Shake is talking to, he's he's actually live. He does lives on his channel. So check him out. Links in the description. Ed Hardy hats. These mesh trucker, very embroidered hats are money to my eyes. But what's it gonna cost me to get it? And do I even get it? Would you get it for the price that? that they offer? For $20, I don't think uh, I want to bargain because even at 15, you think, okay, well, you can make 30, but then you got to think about taxes as well. So maybe next time, if it's still there, I'll use that as a bargaining ship saying, hey, it's been here this long. How about a little less? This is the second time I've come across a Carmen San Diego game. The first one was a board game, this time it's a handheld. No batteries, couldn't test it, so I decided to leave it behind. But wanted to share with you this if you come across a new one, it could go for around 20 to 30 bucks, which is pretty nice. So keep your eyes out on that. How much are the shoes? For $25 doing the Google Lens, you would think these prices are a go-to and to pick it up, maybe even bargain. But when you actually look at the sold comps, you start seeing things like $24 brand new sold, $11 shipping, which shipping is pretty decent, $40 free shipping, and then $48 plus shipping. So there's a lot of things to look at other than just looking up things on Google Lens. Make sure to look up sold comps. And am I wrong for immediately thinking once I seen these banjos and playing with it of Kevin Commonwealth Picker? Um, if I am, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Congratulations, Kevin. He hit 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And for myself, I got comments saying, Sonny, congratulations, you hit 12,000 subscribers. A new milestone for me. I can only imagine how much bigger I'm going to get because of what I'm doing and what you're enjoying from me. I started off with $100 going to the flea market. I asked how much this chiller dispenser is for Fireball. She was asking $150. You can make a good profit, make double times the money you invested. But for me, I didn't have that much. And sticking to my budget, I have the small one. It should sell for around $80, but the only thing, I don't have the cord for it. So I'm gonna hunt for that. Look, look at this beauty right here. I love these old school wagons. This one's you notice the sides you could take these off oh they roped it down they're missing the front part but people buy these individually like the rails but the condition of this is pretty nice can you tell the difference 
with your experience if this is a modern or vintage sign i looked them up and i can't really tell i don't want to just say something is vintage just to have it as a sale tactic so i ended up leaving it there but i do want to learn about signs because you can make some good money off of them according to american pickers one of my favorite shows some of these electronics i am worried about these and i always wonder too at the same time like where do you get these from are these from storage units and if so i'm into it too and i'm going to be getting into storage units after i get organized now this is more of what i'm into the little old school vintage type of accessories perfume bottles these are fun I, I, and i do mean fun i just like looking at them i admire them their art their beauty this one's an avon one i don't think it goes for anywhere more than maybe ten dollars i could be wrong i'm just not feeling it I'm not feeling the connection other than that it's really pretty there's a lot of things that are avon that i like to bring up that not everything is cheap from avon there's some expensive jewelry out there there's some figurines of celebrities that i've sold before too for a pretty good penny what you want for this oh, all right grab find a couple things take it all right yeah. I'll keep looking what is that for well, go. I'm figuring it out right now. I think <laughs> this is like... It just a, looks intriguing, so I had to ask. I want to say it's like a, a little fold-up dolly or something. Uh, Let's see. To close, press the button, pull up. A dollar. So not much luck at this vendor, but he always has amazing prices and ends up pushing you to do bundle deals. I came across this Micro 11 recorder, handheld recorder, and they don't go for too much. I would have actually got it if it wasn't missing one of the buttons for, say, $2. It'll be more of a bread and butter. I sell handheld recorders often. How much are these that are here? Chicken? Yeah. 25 each. 25 each. Thank you. It is getting hot out of here. But I've been in other places. Places yeah, like that. It's so big that yeah, I'll only go to I mean I the half. It's, it's, uh, you know, I went off to another area looking for vintage jewelry. No luck, but um, there's a lot of stuff out here. I'm just becoming more pickier. I was looking forward to this one being here. She usually has some really good jewelry. Ugh. All right, it, it's come to my attention that I find ugly jewelry and um, kind of hurt my feelings. So I need to start asking what's pretty jewelry? What are people looking for? Because the stuff that I get, I sell pretty good. But if I'm okay with it and there's better things out there that I'm not aware of, then I need to get on the ball and learn that. Let's head over to one of my favorite vendors, Armando, and see what he has for us. Immediately walking up two steps to the first table and I see this beautiful, colorful, swirled handle glass. And then there's two, what are these, chandeliers? I don't think they're chimes, but they may be. They might be both chandelier chimes. I don't know, you tell me. But they are some nice looking shells. And then this one seems to be a bit larger and underneath seems to be all the missing pieces. I was tempted to tell Armando if I could hang these up on the rail for him, being that they may sell better, but people aren't always asking for help. So I tend to watch out for that as well. 
Armando has quite a bit to choose from. He's there on the top right corner and the hat, kind of similar to the one that I had in Kona, Hawaii. All these items are nice and I really wish I had more time to look at, but it's getting super hot. I'm looking for items that stand out like little glass pieces. Some of these, this reminds me of the shoe of Fenton that I sold and Fenton shoes don't sell for very much, but they are bread and butter items. I'm looking for paperweights, figurines, Landros isn't one there's price $25 but that doesn't mean that's his price and usually Armando once he gets to know you he gives you even better prices but not all of the time it's not something that I always bargain with people just to get a lower price it all depends on what I know I could get from people and it's a different structure for everybody what they want to buy things for what they don't want to buy things for what they're willing to buy things for for a profit so there's a lot of these little in-betweens and nuances that people work with on what they are experience through their journeys like I have been for six years and reselling. So if you ever come through the broad areas flea market, please come and visit Armando and tell him Sunny Las Vegas sent you. I ended up purchasing this hand blown vase or pitcher for five dollars. I just don't know anything about it other than I liked it. So maybe you could help me out with that in the comments. How would you describe it and how much do you think it sells for? I thought this was going to end up being and hoping that it would be the largest glass paperweight I've ever come across so far. But it wasn't. It was plastic. I have no idea what it was. Another sign, Dallas Cowboys 10. Don't know if it's vintage or modern. And this hat, I'm looking for something like Riddell. R-I-D-D-E-L-L, -L, I believe. Some of those can be really good money. This had no maker's mark. Doesn't mean it's not worth money. I just don't know much about it. But Carry American Arbitrage probably does. I ended up moving to the side because there's somebody in the way of what I want to look at next. And that's jewelry. Something I showed at the very beginning, but I didn't show you everything. But now I am, let's see what I come across. Now that the couple's gone, let's go to the area that I was eyeing out for a while. First thing I pick up is the silver stamped earrings. They are pretty wide. I don't know how to what to call them or even the stone that's in there. And stay tuned because I'm going to highlight them and show better coverage of them. It's just Daryl who was here. Um, ended up disappearing the last time and I couldn't get a price on things that I wanted so I'm kind of keeping on with my peripheral and lying out this beautiful cameo rhinestone barrette or hair clip it's really nice I always check the clippings on this see if there's any rhinestone missing and sometimes rhinestones may be missing but as beautiful as that is I know I can make some good money but it all depends on what I pay for all of this so let's break it down right now all right here's where you help me out now, I hope these pieces, you could say sunny, you do pretty good finding beautiful pieces. If I don't, let me know in the comments. But I ended up paying $40 for three pieces, uh, including this set, um, so two other pieces. So these pieces right here, hard to hold up, and they're a bit wide. If I was to hold it up to my ear, it's kind of big. It's kind of wide, but they're very lightweight. They're not heavy. And then the stone, if it is a stone on inside, it's really nice, beautiful, it's eye-catching. And then the style around it as well, the pattern that's been hammered in there, these are pierced and sterling is marked on the back end. Now, there isn't a maker, but there are some out there that you could look at and find. I have something that I use other than my phone, and if it was charged, I'll show you, but the next time I show you jewelry, I'll show you what I use, so that way I'm not squinching to look at those little things on jewelry pieces, the find a maker's mark, or names that's on there. So um, I'll show you that next time when I have some jewelry for you. Now I ended up paying $40 for this set to include this beautiful cameo uh, barrette little rhinestone or jeweled piece. I always make sure that they clip. And this one right here, there seems to be a rhinestone that's missing. And that's okay because I do very well on these on whatnot uh, auctions. And I, I, I do really good with barrettes. Um, a lot of people don't look at them and I'm, I'm glad for that. And I just like them. They remind me of back in the day, my tias, my my cousins wearing these uh, quinceañeras are just days that they want to get all dressed up. We go out dancing, some cumbias and things like that, or 
uh, quinceañeras, like all kinds of stuff. And that would, these remind me of, of back in the day. And they do very well for me on whatnot, which is why I picked them up. And for those who have shot for me before, could leave comments and say, hey, I got some, I like them. And I don't know, maybe this will redeem these three pieces of what I have have heard being told to me directly, Sonny, you find some ugly, ugly jewelry pieces. And I'm like, well, majority of them sell because a lot of it is in bulk. And I do what I'm, I, I am experienced in on. And my experience isn't as good as it is in apparel. I'm learning about jewelry. I'm learning about a lot. And there's so much to learn. And thankfully for you all, you help me on that. You help me where I fall short are things that I'm not even thinking about. And I hope I do. I don't hope that I do the same for you. I know that I do the same for you. I know my experience on things goes through and you're able to use it and apply it towards your collection as a buyer and or a reseller. You could be either or. Thanks for following. My name is Sunny Las Vegas. Let me know how I did on these jewelry pieces and stay tuned for another video. Also, coming up soon. In a few days, we're going to be in, out in Idaho. So if you're out in Idaho and want to meet up, I'm going to be in Twin Falls, Idaho. So make sure to message me. Hopefully, it can meet some of you, even one of you. That would be amazing. And get a little bit of thrifting out there. I'm not trying to talk too loud because my wife's asleep. And I got to get going. I got family coming in and I have to clean out my garage. I mean, my hallway. I mean, the guest room. I mean, all of them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Make sure to like and subscribe.